Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and uh, I thought I would sit down and do a video for you guys and gals. Let me get a sip of my water. Dietary approaches. I tend to be very hard on both of these groups, um, and I want to be clear, I will always be hard on the carnivores because they are literal morons. Like, it's the most stupid thing I've ever heard of. It is literally the most stupid diet you could possibly come up with medically scientifically it's just ludicrous but i'm not going to throw keto into that that same category all right uh the vegan thing here's here's my my point with veganism i actually really don't have a problem with veganism all right and i know it comes across that i do my problem is with the dogmatic irrational unscientific side of veganism Okay, the, the purely emotional side to where they're not willing to discuss logic. All right, an example. I don't have an issue with the ethical side. All right, I want, and I want to make that clear because that's people's personal, if it's well thought out personal ethics, okay, okay. My issue is the dogma. When vegans literally blame animal products for all obesity and health problems, as if vegans don't have heart attacks and cancer and obesity. I, that's just a complete straw man. Um, obviously, there are diet-related issues that can lead to obesity, heart disease, diabetes, that don't have to do with animal products, so overeating specifically. But you can just look at the data. Vegans have lower ri risk of heart disease. They have lower risk of high blood pressure lower risk of obesity, like clearly that type of eating pattern is more conducive towards health than including animal products in your diet. You know, let, let's be realistic. That's just simply not true. They do. And it's not even at that low of a rate compared to people who follow more balanced, healthy diets. It really isn't. Uh, you can read the Oxford Vegetarian Cohort. Vegans were the only diet group that had a lower uh, the uh, that had a statistically lower risk of all cause mortality uh, when compared to normal meat eaters. You can read the Adventist Health Studies. Again, vegans had the lowest risk of heart disease, diabetes, cancer. They lived longer compared to normal meat eaters. Um, so yeah, if they have better health outcomes, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like vegans just have better health outcomes. Like Blaha will admit himself. He's made several videos about this. People who eat the most amount of vegetables live the longest. Well, okay. Um, vegans eat the most amount of vegetables. So. Like, I, I don't know why this is so confusing for him and why it's so hard for him to admit. When they can step back and admit, okay, animal products are not the source of all problems. Because, I mean, let's be clear. That's a complete straw man. Refined fructose is pretty damn high on the list. And that is technically entirely a plant source food. The literature. Yeah, so this is a complete straw man. Like, you, vegans aren't claiming the only fucking health problems that exist in the world are due to animal products. Like, again, overeating specifically, ultra processed foods, like, yeah, high fructose corn syrup. Like, all those things can be bad for you. Alcoholism, like, alcohol itself is vegan at least. There's a lot of alcoholic beverages that are vegan friendly. Like, yeah, those things are bad for you, uh, and they're not related to animal products specifically, but he's just making a complete straw man. Very clearly shows that excess refined fructose is responsible for enormous amounts of health problems. Okay, perfect example. When they have the mindset that because it's vegan, it's automatically healthy, you know, so they'll eat another straw man. So just because something's vegan, it doesn't make it healthy. Oreos are vegan. They're not healthy. These garbage piles of fake meats. There is no evidence showing that fake meat is responsible for increased risk of chronic disease. 
no evidence. He's just mentioning a food product where there's no evidence behind the idea that they're bad for you. Instead of just saying, you know what, maybe I should just have some tofu or something. Because you know what? Tofu is perfectly healthy and it's a perfectly viable source of protein. All right. Then. So are mock meats. I mean, great. No problem. You want to eat tofu for your protein and uh, some of your omega 3s? I have no issue with that. It's perfectly viable. It is viable. It's viable. Okay? <sighs> Animal products are not the source of all obesity and problems. Vegan. Okay, so he's just straw manning vegans the entire time. It's just. Everything's boring me right now. 